Okay, Matthew from Marie Contier. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Eddie, for coming to Paris and to, uh, to offer the FinTechers community a global stage to present uh, uh, our project. First, a bit of drama. Yes, because uh, probably, m like most of us, as a FinTecher, we are often asked, are FinTechs here to last? And yet, in 2014, it seems like for a banker, there is uh, only two choices uh, that can be made. Become a FinTecher or keep looking for a job as a banker. What does it mean exactly? That for the financial industry, things have changed and for good. Why? Everything began with the um, global exchanges being electronically linked. It brought first the ETF revolution, destructuring the asset management industry, then the high frequency trading, slamming the market making, and now the robo advisory, which is uh, disrupting the private uh, wealth uh, um, industry. So for Marie Contier, conveniently, uh, she's taking roots in uh, the three. First automation, then ETF, and then advisory. In other words, ETF, big data, high performance computation, artificial intelligence, and a huge urge for understanding are completely reshaping the wealth management industry. In that context, Marie Cantier is very unique because we are providing our clients with the first ability to manage the degree of risk of their financial portfolio on their own. What the first FinTech financial advisory um, revolution, like led by um, Westfront, Betterment, Personal Capital, they brought to savvy investor, A, the possibility to save huge amount of money on management and advisory fees, and B, to get access to better performing portfolios without the bias of kickback hungry advisors. But the market is still starving from the lack of understanding. Why? Because our market is generation Wikipedia. What does it mean? It's not because you are in front of me that I will not pull out my iPhone and check out if what you're telling me is accurate or not. People want to understand. And that's where Marie Cantier disrupts the disruptors. We try to take the FinTech financial advisory revolution one step further with Marie Cantier. Not only you are encouraged to challenge our recommendation, but also to form your own opinion. opinion. You no longer have to rely on faith or on a black box. Blind trust or black boxes are obsolete. One need to check to trust, and that's what we are providing our client with. I'm intrigued by the whole advisor thing. In the UK, the, um, you know, people are only just talking about automated advice, but it's not happening yet. But the FCA, which is the regulator in the UK, the chairman said that they would consider regulating automated advice, which is a bombshell for a lot of people. It's, well, it's a bombshell for the advisors because they get, they'll get re replaced. So that's really so. Maybe you're a bit further ahead if you can do it right now because I haven't seen anyone do it in the UK yet. Yeah, Nutmeg is um, the main uh, actor in uh, in the UK, but really? they are they are set up with a fund, so it's a bit different. The the main competitors are really in the in the US, uh, Wealthfront, Betterment. Have you all seen Nutmeg? Do you know what Nutmeg is? 
Who doesn't? Is it worth me explaining what Nutmeg does? Nut Nutmeg takes the. Um, I mean, I know this company in London. They basically they take the the advice process a investment advisor would go through, and they automate it in a very simple way. So, what you do is you risk rate yourself by doing a, a risk questionnaire, and having worked out what your attitude attitude to risk is, they put you into a particular fund with that volatility, which is basically a blend of ETFs that creates the right risk profile for you. It's small nuts. It's like a thousand, two thousand pounds, and it's wrapped in an ISA. So it's a very basic, low-level, entry-level kind of investment advice that you self-serve. So that's something a financial advisor wouldn't do because if you've got a thousand pounds to put into an ISA, there's no commission, so you would never get advice. So this allows you to self-serve. So that's nutmeg. I'm, but I'm interested to know what you're going to do because you've told us the principle. Are you doing um, that or something else? No, we are doing something else because. Um, um, we really be, believe in the do-it-yourself. Uh, the, the market wants to, to have the full ownership of uh, what we understand of the market, that uh, people want the, the full ownership of the, their securities. So basically what we do is like manage accounts, but for the retail market, and uh, giving them all the tools, uh, like a front to back for the retail uh, uh, investments. So it's basically, uh, um, uh, risk management tools, uh, analysis, Financial and then planning. execution. Also, you would have a full set of tools? So you could, you could self-serve completely? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing that. Does anyone have any questions for Matthew? Thank you. Is your uh, solution for clients or is it for business? Is it B2B or B2C? No, B2C, full B2C. Full B2C? And there's no white labeling today? There's no, you, you don't offer a solution to a bank or fund manager or something else? No. No? Um, we have been contacted f f by quite a, a couple of uh, hedge funds interested in our uh, artificial intelligence because we are sp specialized in uh, global macro. Okay. So um, they, they wanted to, to export part of uh, our um, programming into their systems. And uh, each time we, we said uh, no. Um, because we think 80% of the asset management is going to be run directly by the clients. So there's no point uh, uh, committing too much, uh, even more at an early stage of a startup, into a, a, business, uh, into a business which uh, is tending uh, not to, to grow as fast as in, uh, in the past. Okay. Just one question. Uh, um, can you tell us about your background? So I began in uh, structured products, pricing, Société Générale. Then uh, I was doing a part-time PhD, mathematic, uh, applied mathematics. Then uh, I'm, I went to, to London uh, on an equity derivatives uh, desk. I, uh, I entered this uh, great bank, Bear Stearns, a couple of months before the collapse. Uh, and then um, I joined the Macquarie Group, uh, an uh, Aussie bank. Uh, to do prop trading uh, on uh, correlation patterns and uh, volatility. And uh, so when um, I left um, the, the banking industry, uh, I began by doing some uh, prop trading. And uh, then I, I understood that uh, there were a need, especially in France, where all the uh, people in their 30s, they are uh, completely scared by their future, especially the, uh, how they, they will uh, retire. So they are saving a lot, they are sitting on a, a mountain of cash, but they don't know what to do with the cash. Uh, real estate is too high, um, life insurance is not very glamorous, so, um, and uh, there is nothing um, for the financial market that uh, people want to trust. So the, um, the bet here is to say no kickback. We only uh, get paid by our clients. They pay, um, they pay an annual fee, and they pay us a performance fee, and nothing else. And that should uh, um, um, bring back the trust, because there is no, no more conflict of interest. Yeah, hi. Um, and in what? Uh, type of account will you make the investment? What is a wrapper? Like it's uh, assurance vie or, or? No, yeah, um, 
the, the, the French uh, wrappers have not been designed for uh, the, the savers or the investors. It's been made for uh, the policy makers. It's for uh, the industrial uh, policies of France. Uh, for example, if you are an investor, you know that when equities are falling, bonds tend to rise. How can you monitor that with a wrapper called PEA, which is basically a wrapper designed to invest only in equities. It's not possible. So our bet is to go to compte titre because actually you have two, uh, two options. When you have uh, above 250Ks to invest, you have uh, wonderful options, not assurance vie, but luxembourgeoise assurance vie. And when you have less than that, most of the time, the, the tax you are paying on your investment are not that high. So it's not uh, always making sense to go to a tax efficient wrapper because you find there far more fees like in uh, assurance V. So what you save on tax, you pay it on fees. So we do um, compte titre for uh, the, um, the wealth um, from uh, 5K to uh, 250 and for our clients above 250, we use uh, Assurance Vie Luxembourgeoise, which is better than French Assurance Vie because you can have a full flexibility on the assets and you can really pl play the, the cross asset card and, uh, and benefit from uh, all the market situation. Matthew, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much.